Okay, if you're doing rear lower lateral links in a Dodge, mine was a 2010 Journey all-wheel drive. I couldn't find any videos on it, so I thought I'd make a quick one. So to start off, when you're doing the lateral link, the first thing I would do is take your trailing arm off. I have the old one here to kind of jog memories or whatever. So you've got three bolts that come through on this side. They're 16 mil, two 18 mils, one there and one there, and a couple of uh, brake line connections. I would get it out of your way because you are going to have to cut these lateral links out. Now you can see here some different cuts because here I was using a Milwaukee blade, I was using a Lawson, and then I switched to a Diablo. Um, I'll post a link in the comment for uh, what this blade was, but as you can see I used it for a lot of cuts and uh, still in very good shape. And you know, once I switched to the Diablo, I cut through this thing like butter. See the other side? Beautiful. Um, so with that uh, trailing arm out of the way, I was able to get in with my sawzall, cut both sides of the lateral link, and then just kind of knock out the bolt. Of course, I did have to replace that camber bolt. I got that straight from Dodge um, on both sides. Again, these are the lowers, so they're a bit shorter. Also, if you're going to do the uppers, get the aftermarket adjustable ones, because I didn't. And uh, they should be good for now. But anyways, um, for the control arms... The only tip I'll give you when you're doing them, because they're quite easy, is this tie rod. I couldn't figure out, you know, it was spinning. I had, uh, I tried my locking pliers, I tried a bar. And uh, then I finally found a YouTube comment that said that the, uh, the bolt on the, uh, what's the fucking word I'm looking for? Tie rod end actually has a T40 in it. So you can hold that bolt with your T40 and uh, take that out with a wrench or whatever. Um, I was actually able to use the T40 on the impact and spin it in while holding the wrench. And then these are easy peasy. I will say also though this bolt, it's not a camber adjustment. So I use my handy dandy blade to cut it out because the uh, exhaust gets in the way. And uh, you know, just throw a new bolt in there. Um, so yeah, a well, couple quick tips. Sorry that it's not actually on the vehicle, but uh, Hope this helps someone out because I could have used it. <laughs>